Hi all, Neo Elf here to discuss the fourth thermetic principle, the law of polarity. Before I get, begin to give the proper definition of this principle, I'd like for you to notice that this is the fourth of the principles and also the middle point uh, between the number seven. There are three before and three after. This one's number four. It's called polarity and it's the middle. I do not see this as being coincidence. I think this is a very important one of the seven. I'm not saying that any are more important than any others. Others may disagree. I think this one is vital uh, in today's world in particular because we have extremes. So here, here's the formal definition. Everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its pair of opposites. Like and unlike are the same. Opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. Extremes meet. All truths are but have truths. All paradoxes may be reconciled. The key part of this for me is basically summed up in that opposites are identical in nature, but different in degree. That middle part of that whole definition, basically, I think is very important to evaluate. So pick your, your favorite pair of opposites, and it can be anything. And I do mean anything at all. Let's, uh, let's say good and evil, even. We can decide to be on one side and be good, or decide to understand that they are the exact, that they loop around. What? How is that possible? Well, I don't know, <laughs> but it is. And uh, it's true. And here's how. person that is evil, let's take murder, for example. We look at others that have murdered in their lives and say that is an evil person and we slap that label upon them and make that judgment if you or i was painted into a corner surrounded by someone trying to kill us for example we may very well end up fighting for our lives unless we have the discipline not to to kill that person trying to kill us i would say many would fight for their lives i have to admit that i i don't know what i would do that would depend on the situation. So that's an extreme example. But is the person fending for their life, are they now evil? Whereas they were good before they uh, they murdered? Well, that's different. Well, it is different and it's the same, right? It's the same act that we're talking about that we slap the label as being evil on. And so at times, yes, we all do this. It's very natural to do so. We sometimes pick a side no matter what the situation is and we pick sides all the time when we should attempt i should attempt more to see them see the middle ground and to see the middle ground i mean yes balance but more so to understand that the opposites are the exact same. I found myself in the past getting stuck on one side of something and it, it could be anything but I picked brand X instead of brand Y and what happens to me is in the past I would get stuck just with brand X and before I, I knew it I am no longer even seeing brand Y so hence I don't then understand how brand Y all of a sudden upgraded their product and is now, if I had actually tried it, 10 times better than brand X. Time is always a key factor. So let me use another example. And for this, let's, let's pretend we have two people, one of them named Aleph and the other one named Omega. So Aleph is hanging out with his friend and one of his friends was discussing politics and war and how corporations are doing horrible things. And so Aleph says 
you know what, he, that makes a lot of sense. I think I, too, want to be a Democrat. And then the very next day, even, what could happen is that a left's buddy starts talking some very radical, radically liberal things. Something gets mentioned that a left doesn't agree with at all. It could be abortion, whatever. Concurrently, we have Omega, and she is having a conversation with her friends about the same. And she decides to be a Republican. Next thing you know, the same thing happens the next day with her inverted. And just one final example, I could say that I am from this religion over here, and because of that, I don't need to read the Quran. Or I could say, I'm from this religion over here, and because of that, I do not need to read Holy Bible. Or I could say, because of this religion, actually, I don't need to read the Bhagavad Gita, nor the Upanishads, nor the Yoga Sutras. And all of those books have beautiful teachings. <laughs> and we can pick and choose what we like from each of them. They are in grimoires, in fact, and all of them have beautiful bits of knowledge. If I say, no, I'm, I'm done with that, I'm only going to read The Kabbalion, which is also a book that I would highly recommend. You can get a lot more information than I'm giving you other than just the basic definitions. So am I saying be independent? Uh, register as independent. No, I am not. I'm saying do whatever you want. I think personally, the more we can see both sides and stay in that view from that perspective, the better decisions we can make for ourselves and, and everyone. Sometimes it, it may be we may need to jump to the left. Other times we might have to jump to the right and we can do so quickly but only when we are in the now and viewing from above, or only when we uh, are seeing with our one eye, yes? The more that we can do this, the happier we can find ourselves. And of course, the happier we are, the healthier we are. So, I'd like to thank you all for listening to my half-truth today, and I hope you have a beautiful rest of yours.